Hi guys, welcome back. Let's get to talk about RX Java 2.0 with the integration into Android using Retrofit. RX Java 2.0 has been completely rewritten from scratch on top of the Reactive Streams specification. The specification itself has evolved out of the RX Java 1.x and provides a common baseline for reactive systems and libraries. We'll get to integrate uh, the RX Java 2.0 into an Android application, which is the GitHub uh, start repos that we'll be getting. So we're actually going to be uh, getting all start repositories from a username. For us to integrate RX Java 2.0 into your Android application, you need to head straight to the build gradle. Uh, we actually add an implementation of the RX Java 2 uh, 1.0 series but now we're going to upgrade this to the latest version of rx java and we'll be talking majorly about the disposable and the io reactive streams where then the dependencies i commented out the one point uh with the one point series of rx java now we're going to be implementing the reactive 2.13 and the rx android 2.01 these are Inclusions are very very important. We'll also be using the retrofit adapter because we have RS Java embedded into the retrofit adapter and it's not out of the box. You have to actually include that in the dependencies. That's how you have the square up retrofit to the adapter, the RS Java 2.3.0. So these three inclusions will be pointing at the latest build of RS Java. From here, we'll be headed straight to the core logic of this application, which is the classes. Uh, firstly, in the in the GitHub client, where you get to set up the uh, base URL and point out to uh, the builder. Uh, the only change you have to do here is right there in the call adapter factory, where you need to point down to the RS Java 2 call adapter factory, where you create with the scheduler of the scheduler.io right there from RxJava at this point in time. This line uh, will have to actually change from the previous code you'll be having. And at the same time, uh, you will be pointing down to the get start repos, which will be kind of slightly different from what you had, uh, because you're going to have the IO reactive X uh, observable. You only have the observable from the Java 1, the RxJava 1, but now you're going to be having the IO Reactive X uh, observable. We we'll get to actually uh, do that in the service, uh, which uh, houses the endpoint of uh, your uh, your link of your web API. Uh, this is actually pointing at the users, and this uh, is actually going to be replaced with the username and get all the start repositories of this user. And uh, if you notice, uh, it's always the observable, but now uh, you add, you have to add up the IO Reactive X observable. So that's just the inclusion you have from uh, the uh, RS Java 1 series, uh, right there in the GitHub service and the client. Now the call has actually uh, changed. Uh, it has a tweak uh, which uh, has been able to undo uh, different uh, concurrency. Uh, you get to uh, do some other uh, funky things when it comes to the RS Java 2.0. Uh, before this, you will be having the subscription uh, where you get uh, the instance, you subscribe on and you observe on. I also have the subscribe, the subscribe to the observer. All these are still maintained, but this time in a shorter form, and uh, you will be using the disposable. Uh, the disposable uh, object will be created instead of the subscription. As you have right there, and uh, you actually have, have your recycler to set up. I won't be uh, covering that, and I think that has been explained in details in the implementation of the RS Java 1. Uh, you set the adapter and you actually bind data to the view. But how are you going to get uh, the, the data from the uh, network stream? So that's what you have right there the get start repos. This takes a username as a parameter. You actually declared an instance of the GitHub client which you've created. So the disposable 
now the disposable we have to get the start reports and it's actually going to subscribe on the schedulers io and observe on the android schedulers main thread because that's where the results will be pushed to now you have to call subscribe to different consumer here and uh, which is quite different from what we have uh earlier on uh, where you get the override the uncompleted the on error and the next but this time you only have two methods to tackle it uh where you override the accept and uh you override the uh the, you create you instantiate two consumables uh the first is actually going to speed out the results while the second can throw an error so that's just the two uh consumers that you will be instantiating so now at the on accept which are uh, you actually going to uh, have your github repos a uh, list uh, right there and this shows an exception uh, if there's an exception that's where you have the trueable right there they're actually going to catch the exception and are actually uh, going to lock that to tricks or probably it's going to actually give a toast or a snack or something to actually depict the error so that it's not going to crash the application so in the point of the accept you need to set the github repos uh, to the recycler adapter just like what you've done in your next uh, results from the RS Java 1 so you pass in the github repos list as the parameter as the data source to the adapter you can see this is quite much shorter uh, you, you used to share to the consumers at the fly and uh, it's kind of slightly different from what we used to have with the RS Java 1 uh, in subsequent videos we get to talk deeper about uh, more implementation of the RS Java 2 series uh, which has actually come to stay and uh, if you've been using RS Java 1 just changing or tweaking down to uh, this the 2.0 version shouldn't be something uh, too taxing and daunting to do so this is just how to actually get that done and you have that covered uh, using the RS Java 2.0 series and uh, let's get quickly look at the adapter uh, where you get to find data uh, they'll create view at uh, the github repo view order that actually houses our uh, instantiates or initialize the views uh, the repo name the description language and the stars so you have that uh, set up as well how else i'll be committing the source code uh, to uh, the github link so that we'll be able to actually pick it up from there and use it in the course of the application so that's how it flows it's actually a working application using RS Java 2 using RS Java 1 they are all scalable but more more logic has been added to the 2.0 series of RS Java thank you guys for hanging out with me throughout this short video and I will implore you to lay your hands on the soft code so you could actually get yourself acclimatized with the implementation of RS Java and uh, retrofit into an Android application bye bye for